Hi all, welcome back to my channel and our flip flop repair shop series. Today we are going to make some shark tooth sifters because we are going to be going to Wilmington, North Carolina to search for some shark teeth. First thing I want to do is cut some side pieces at 18 inches. I'm kind of making this up as I go along with an idea in my head. So you're supposed to usually draw this out, but I work better <laughs> making it up on the fly. And let me get my cutter. All right, now I got my cutter. I'm going to cut about right where that line is. Should be about 18 inches. Yeah. Close to 18 inches, it'll be a little over. <laughs> so I am making three of these. Mark them all. Put on the floor. That's one. So I need two, three, four of these per, per sifter. I think I'll make it 22 inches long. Yeah, it's 18 by 22. After realizing that I would come up short making the sifters 18 by 22 with the supplies I had already bought, and since Miss Kayak 7Cs wanted her sifter a bit smaller, I decided to make the other two sifters 18 by 18 inches. This would give me just enough pipe to cut the 12 pieces, 6 per sifter, at 18 inches with enough leftover scrap to make the extended handles. The half inch diameter pipe is 10 foot in length per stick. I had two sticks left. I proceeded in cutting the remaining 12 pieces. Of those 12 pieces I just cut, four of them would need elbows on each end. This would be for the handle. I opted not to use glue for the connections. The next four pieces, which were also cut at 18 inches, would need T-connectors at each end. Keep in mind that this is for two sifters. The third sifter was assembled off camera. I will include a parts list at the end of this video. Again, I use no glue to connect the PVC pipe and the fittings since the connections are pretty tight. Alright, now that I got the pieces all cut at 18 inches, I have a set of them with the T's on it. And I have a set with the elbows on it. The elbows are going to be the handles. And I will have to do some more cutting for those. So I will take the two T's and I will attach another pipe in the middle. make my square. So once I have it nice a nice square, I'll put it to the side and do the second one. And another square. Now that I have my squares, put some weight on them to make sure they're nice and snug. And they won't come apart. And I will make sure that they get twisted so that they are fairly flat. First one. Yeah, perfect. 
Now, let's build the handles. So I have my square and I have my handle. The handle does not need to be very, very long because it's just basically something to put your arm around. Well, you're gonna have a noodle there too, so I'll go approximately two inches. Let's go two and a half. So I cut them two and a half inches and I place them into the elbows. And now we're gonna place them into the tees. One side. And that is the other side. Let's add a little bit of weight to it again, just to make sure it's nice and snug in there. About all of them have these handles here, so that way you can shake them. Next, we need to cut our wire mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out two of them. To make sure that we get our mesh fits perfectly. Put one there. And one there. Looks like we're going to have enough mesh for two of them. We will have to get some more mesh for the other one. Fortunately, a co-worker of mine had this extra mesh laying around, so I was able to use it for these. So let's go ahead and cut the mesh for the first one. The mesh can just be cut with a pair of scissors, surprisingly not that strong. So that's one of them cut. And I'm going to have to cut a little bit off of here too. One thing you need is gloves, which I started out without. To get around these corners, I cut a couple notches. Just enough for the pipe to go around. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this end. Kind of bend it around the pipe. And then I'm gonna take a zip tie. Around here. Go underneath. Tight. Get it as tight as I can. I'm going to do that on the side as well. Just to start out one corner. There, once I get it nice and tight, cut the ends off the zip ties. So let's go ahead and do this other corner now. Pull it tight. Oh, I'm going to have to cut notches up here too. But let's go ahead and get this other corner. Now that we have those two corners, we can kind of pull this tight, figure out where we're going to cut our notch. And the idea of this notch is just so that way it'll go around his teeth. And the same thing on this side. So next, we'll come over here, get this one. Once we have all four corners secured, let's go ahead and put one in the middle of each one. They're all tight. Once we get them all cut, twist these down so that way the edges are against the screen. All right, that's the first sifter. This foam serves as two purposes. One, it's gonna help this thing float. Two, it's gonna cover up these little sharp corners from the zip ties and from the wire mesh. So let's cut our first piece using this. So yeah, I didn't use a tape measure, I just kind of eyeballed it. And that's the good thing about these projects, is this isn't this doesn't have to be exact. So once I cut the size I need, there is no slit down the center. So I'm gonna have to take my razor and cut it straight down. Blade wasn't deep enough. There we go. So you just kind of push this on. So I have the first one on. And I have that piece on. So now I have my two side pieces. I will come back, put zip ties to secure it in place, but I want to go ahead and cut everything first.
for the foam, the 8 inch zip ties won't be long enough. I've got these 11 inch ones that I have sitting around. There's only 30 of them in here, so I might not have enough. So I'll probably have to go to the store and get some more. I'll put one at the very end, just to kind of secure it into place. One in each corner, and we'll do the same thing on the end, end piece. I'll probably put one in the center as well. Once I trim the zip ties, this one will be complete. And so those are our chartreuse sifters. Get that one. That's a decent size one. To make your own chartreuse sifters, you'll need one 10 foot section of half inch PVC pipe, four half inch T connectors, four half inch elbow connectors, a roll of quarter inch garden hardware cloth, two pull noodles, a package of 8 inch and 11 inch zip ties. Cut the 10 foot pipe into six 18 inch sections, then use the remaining pipe to cut four 2.5 inch pieces. Have fun building your own sifter, and good luck finding some shark teeth. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found this tutorial enjoyable and useful. If you did, click on that like button, comment below, and let me know how many shark teeth you have found once you have built your own shark tooth sifter. You can also ask me questions about the build. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. I certainly would appreciate it. Until the next time, I hope to see you out on the water someday.